Hello. In this video, I will discuss about text styling. So, whenever you are talking about the text styling, there are the two type of the properties which affect the text. First thing is called the font properties. Another is called paragraph properties. So, font properties which affect the font and its appearance means how your font is coming. How we, your font is coming here again the so many things are there one thing is again the color is there font size is there font family is there font weight is there so okay so different type of the properties which is only related with the font another thing regarding the paragraph properties that affect the text in a similar way no matter which font is being used okay so that is another one paragraph properties so first things under the font family generally uh, what is happening for the desktop machine otherwise anywhere whatever the font is installed in your computer other by browser whatever so that font is coming okay uh, but sometime but the sometime uh, suppose that web developer we would already coded the code uh, develop the web page his system again the different font is there right and the same font he can see in the his system but whenever we deploy in the again the server again the font is not coming properly okay so for that purpose another option is there that is called the web font stack okay where the series of the alternative fonts to use in case the original font choice is not on the user's computers so here one concept is there web font stack what is happening if suppose that one font is not there okay so another for alternative fonts are there so that font only you can use so you see here again the example for the web font stack here so paragraph this is again example of the one kind of the css only so p again the font family the so first one again their first as per developer system might be the cambria is there okay so if this font is not there then it will go for the second one right that's why the georgia is there if that is not there then the third option is there again comma third font you can write that is called again the times new roman if that is not there then again the by default again the generic again the serif font they will consider okay so this is again the web font stack so generic font family is again here serif sans serif mono space cursive and fantasy okay so these are the five for the more popular again the generic font family out of this one by default anyone you can set for the uh, web application another one of the more important is that at the rate of the font face selectors in the css so uh, this is the more popular nowadays so these selectors what you can use with the help of these selectors these selectors on your side even if it is not installed on your any your computers so these selectors allow you to use a font on your sites if suppose that whatever the font you are writing here if it is not there so that again the giving the linking to the live link live link for the some other again the sites from there again they will take your again the font and either if that font is also not available in your systems you can use this font okay so more uh, one of the more popular is an open source font site that is called, called the google web fonts another is again the fonts font square again the, that is again the more important for the font so at the rate of the font face is the now the more popular and out of that one again the google web fonts is the more popular most of the website they are in the google web fonts only another thing is that font size this is again the one of the important point whenever you want to display the information some places your font size will be the bigger some places your font size is the moderate some places your font size is the less okay so that depends how you are adjusting your again the font size generally we are giving the font size either in the terms of the pixels otherwise you can give in the font size in the terms of percentage also okay so two units are the more popular one is called the em units another is called the percentage so em means you can fix the size and uh, another is the percentage based upon your again the screen size you can manage again that font size you just see here examples suppose that uh, by default again the 
any browser font size is the 16 pixel only so whenever you are talking about the paragraph again the default here 100 percent we can say otherwise 1 em and 1 em equal to the 16 pixels we can say 125 percentage we can say 1.125 em otherwise 18 pixels like that one again h2 again the 150 percentage then 1.5 pm and 24 pixels same way you can go for the 200 percentage or 2 em or 32 pixels but here this all of the size is a relative size so what is happening in the relative size that again based upon the where you are putting just see in these examples here again uh, first of all the body is there inside the body again the paragraph is there then again h1 is there right after that again article is there under the article again h1 and p1 is there again the div is there and inside the div again the h1 and p u is available okay so what happened if you are giving for the this one the first body uh, under the body again whatever the first your paragraph and the h1 is there there again the font size is the hundred percent body okay then the paragraph font size will come one em okay one em that means the 16 pixels and the h1 paragraph h1 again the, that contains font size will come two em if your font size of the body is 100 percent then in that case paragraph and h1 p and h1 1 em and the 2 em 1 em means the 16 pixel and h1 is again the 32 pixels is there got it suppose that after that again you have an article and article suppose that your font size is a 75 percent your article font size is a 75 percent so under the article again h1 and the p is there so that h1 again the pu h1 equal to the again the 2 into 16 okay because the 2 pix 2 em we already calculated in the first one the 2 into 16 into 0 0.75 so 24 pixels like that one p is again 1 into 16 into 0 0.75 1 is again the first one under the body whatever your the uh, first paragraph was there same way again if you have a d again you have a d inside the div h1 and the p1 is there so same way we can calculate 2 into 16 but the 75 percent two times so 0 0.75 into 0 0.75 that will come for the 18 px okay so in that the paragraph again 1 into 16 into 0 0.75 into 0 0.75 you 9 px so in that way only the relative again the font size is adjusting in the html with the help of the css one more unit is there uh, for the font size that is called REM unit and this support for the all of the latest version of the browser and along with the Internet Explorer 9 and higher version again it is supported and this is uh, again the new relative measures and the full form is the root EM unit root EM unit so root means here root elements uh, all of the again the size is the relative to the root elements okay so just now in the last uh, again the this discussion again I discussed now inside the body under the body again you have a different uh, a different again the articles under the article whatever the percentage if you are setting that is a reflect to the paragraph and that's on whatever the element is that is the inside okay so same way again here again everything is related to the root elements got it so whatever the root element size if you are fixing that impact is there for the all of the other elements so that's why the name is the, the root em unit so apart from this one again uh, enough for this again the video next video again i'll discuss about the another part of your as per your again the syllabus so thanks for your presence